Hi, Eric. Hi. Um, Manchester United have been under the microscope this week following the conclusion of the club's internal investigation to Mason Greenwood. What are your thoughts on the process and the outcome? Look, um, we are not there where we want to be with our team. I have a lot of work, I have a lot of focus on my team. Uh, and so I focus on the players who are available. Were you expecting Mason Greenwood to be available to you? Did you want him to be? As I said, I only have statements about uh, our performance, our squad, uh, how, where we have to improve, because it's, it's clear, we have to improve. And I have to put every effort in and to get the team um, perform. With that in mind, has this been a challenging week? You've obviously lost two important players to injuries on top of everything else. Yeah, but that is the situation. Uh, uh, it's normal. Uh, top football, uh, you go to the limits. Uh, injuries coming up. It's of course it's always disappointing, but uh, you have to deal with it. And therefore, you construct a squad, and yeah, we can deal with it. Can I just ask you, throughout this process, have you spoken at all to Mason Greenwood? As I said, I focus on the current squad and the players who are available. Is Rasmus Hoyland available? Not for tomorrow. Uh, how, how near is he? Near. He, um, today, the first time he came into team training. So uh, next week, we expect him to do a full week uh, with all the team trainings. So he's very near to, to make the squad. In terms of the injuries that you mentioned a moment ago, can you bring us any more detail on, on Mason Mount and Luke Shaw as to what the exact problems are and how long you expect to be without them? As you know, we can't do that. It's personal in these days. Uh, yeah, um, and, um, yeah, there will be, uh, for some period, there will be absence where Luke will be longer as Mason. So you think in weeks or months? I understand you can't give the exact detail from what you said. No, but what I said, Luke will be longer. Um, and uh, Mason, um, I think quicker. Obviously a left back, you also have Tyrell Malassi here injured at the moment. Do you know an update on his situation? How soon will he be back? It will also take a few weeks before he will be back. So do you think you have the solutions in the squad currently to cope with that? that, that oh, def issue? Definitely, we have the solutions in our squad uh, to cope with that. And we, we, thought, uh, we thought before the season about uh, this uh, scenario, what could happen, you don't, uh, you hope to avoid this scenario, that's also clear. But if it happens, you have to be ready for it and we are ready to, for it to deal with it. Thank you. Eric, do you understand why Manchester United fans do want to know your position on what's happened with Mason Greenwood? So, once again, what Manchester United fans are expecting is winning Manchester United, and I'm responsible for that, and I have to put all my effort and all my focus um, in the current uh, players who are available and in the current squad and make us play better as we do now. Thinking about the play on the pitch, Mason Mount injured, um, that midfield three at times against Tottenham looked like it might have been overrun slightly. How are you working to address that? Yeah, you also you always have to make clinical analyse and um, uh, that assessment is not right. It's not about the midfield. It's what, it was about the back and it was about the front. And that's why we were open. Nothing to do with the midfield, but I already said straight after the game. There were some fans criticising some of the fitness of the players. Casimir got called out a bit. Is he, is he fully fit at the moment? Oh, if you see the numbers, then you see he's fully fit. And, and um, our, of our fitness, I don't have any doubts. They can do it. And they, after 35 minutes in Spurs, they didn't do it anymore. But for, after the first game, we were top uh, first rank across the Premier League fitness state. And um, just a player who's been linked away from the club, Eric Bailly, are you able to tell us anything about a potential move to Marseille at all? No, when we have news, we will, we will give it straight away, but we don't have in this moment, so we can't say anything about it.